is Sunday afternoon and we're off for a drive to San Antonio but first we need fuel. Now I don't know if you know this but the fuel stations over here drive me crazy. You have to pull up, well I've actually done fuel by myself because I always goes in, you have to pull up, you have to go in first pay for the amount that you want and then come back and fuel up and it, it just seems I know it's not really much difference because you'd have to do both things anyway but I don't know it just seems to like slow everybody down <laughs> anyway Chris has gone in to pay um, and then he's going to fill up so obviously it, it stops at the amount that you want to put in I or you, you suggest it. it is but you know sometimes when I used to be filling up in England I'd sometimes be like yeah I'll put 30 in or I'll put 35 in or 20 or 30. You know, sometimes you just change your mind a little bit, but I suppose, yeah, it just stops. So. I'm roasting alive in here. You can, can have a little know? nap while you're filling up. I know it's by them. Open the door. Please. No, because they need to set the engine for the aircon, Ben, and Dad's going to fill up the fuel. I don't know the engine on. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you guys. <laughs> Jesus, friends. <laughs> while I open the door for a bit of air. It's, that's weird. Again, it's gone weird on. Chains. You lost those, you remember? I wonder what that was then. Mm -hmm. I fixed it. Let's have a look. You've just got squares on the screen, but I mean, it might be helpful. You're not going to like that, are you? If you don't yeah. want it. With squares on the screen. Wow, what does the squares do? So you can see what's in the centre of the camera. Yeah, right. I don't mind, I can't even see from it. Right. I can, take, I can try and take it off. I'll try because you will do your mum's head in. Ben, shut up. Hola, welcome. We're in San Antonio Bay. We're not in San Antonio. We're in San Antonio Bay, and this is the walk that we uh, that we've always done, isn't yeah. it? We've got to use his buggy, and he's just been in it because it's been quite hot. But there's a few shady bits, so I'm gonna let him have a little mooch around here. But I think he's gonna have to go in it again soon. Have a little sniff. If he isn't. I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we got our test. Yeah, show us Ben where where we got our test. Sure. Yes, yeah, it's Puffy. Yeah, last 19. year. Can't see it. Oh, Puffy, nineteen. Was it last year? Yep. Wow. Yeah, September. it's just over here. So this is where we we had our tests and the medical centre over there. And we sat there for a drink. Yeah, we did. Couldn't have lemon because it would mess up with with the test. Yeah. So this is a commercial centre which has not been finished, uh, as is the case with most places over here. So, but there's a few little, uh, there's restauranty bars and uh, hairdressers and stuff down there and then you've got uh, chemist etc. And there's mum, <laughs> running with a pram. Oh. So we'll, we'll do this walk. We're going to a place that we call the Vines. Now, it's not called the Vines, but it has vines in its restaurant. I think it's called uh, Vista El Puerto. That's where it is. It's a peacock lilo. What? A peacock, peacock lilo. Look, just look at it. Someone will want to see it. Yeah, it'll make me and a lobster. It'll and make a lobster. Me peacock lilo and a lobster. Then you. <laughs> So we'll carry on walking around here and show you the sights and sounds of uh, our little walk that we normally do. It's very hot actually today. We're all maffed in. Yeah. But over here, this bit is like a central place for restaurants and bars, etc. As a massive Chinese restaurant, but uh, I think it's been closed since last year to be honest. So, over here, the central area for food, there's Amsterdam Bar there, Taj Mahal Indian, and a massive Chinese up at the top there, but uh, I don't think it's in action. There's um, another hotel, Suite Apartments and Beach Club, AH. It's quite funky in there. There's a restaurant and barbecue. It usually gets packed at night time, this place. And we walk all the way around here to where our destination is. There's a nice little breeze that's just picked up right now, which is great.
There's a little play park that's attached to a Thai restaurant. At one particular time, this place was doing sort of like uh, pony rides at the back where the mini golf is as well. I say at one particular time, it's probably many, many moons ago, to be honest. So I think we were gonna throw, I think we we're gonna throw Holly on the back of one of those horses at one particular time. They were little tiny shy horses. They were doing pony trekking ride things. Oh, I now I can smell it. Nice. Plethora here again of restaurants and, uh, and bars down here. So pizzeria when it's open. And then further down here, there's renter cars and more pizzerias and, and restaurants. It is a Sunday, yes. Whew. It's slightly hot. Another hotel there. Which is L Pins or L's L's Pit. Sorry, I want to say L's Bells. I want to see that. L's Pins. And we've been here over the past years. We've often heard the Panda Club for the children at that uh, hotel. A couple of clothing shops. Funky front desk. Supermarkets. And again, another clothes shop as well. It's on the corner here. Now another of these places which is an unfortunate circumstance is this the hippie market on the corner here now uh, this was at one time a very hustly bustly place with lots of different trade stands and all sorts of stuff going off there but it just seems to be a dumping ground unfortunately but you can just still see the massive gorilla in the back there they gave it its uh, gorilla hippie market name you see that there bless him he's still standing I think that used to be part of a ride. I think it used to hold a ride of some kind. Mind me if I'm wrong. But this could have been so good. Is it? If someone wants to purchase it, I'll give you the details. I'm good, I don't want it. Here we go. There's the details to purchase the hippie market and make something of it because it could be so good. Just unfortunate. The place that's opened up in recent years is this gelato place on the corner here. It seems to do extremely well, especially on hot days. Just on the corner there with lots of different varieties of ice cream, etc. That's just on the corner here. Uh, plastic moved, by the way, from San Antonio to the bay, just around the corner, to a place that used to be called uh, BN3 on the corner here but it's now plastic which we'll show you in a couple of seconds once we arrive there by the way if you're looking for a very good very nice shop there's one just behind us very good and it's very nice this is a place that we featured last year on uh, one of our vlogs we sat just around the corner eating pizza it was lovely it's very spacious it was yes it's after we've been to Pikes, was it? Yeah. yeah. Very good. Lovely, lovely place. So that's just on the corner there. These seem to get rammed at night time as well. It's where all the locals seem to go. Very busy at night time. They serve lots of food, lots of people eating here on the front. And they're obviously getting ready for that because it's Sunday night. Las Ranas close. It's a Sunday. And we continue down our little walk here to our destination. So these were recently erected and uh, remain empty. Look quite nice. Bit of aircon in there and obviously some kind of shop. Go down an absolute treat, but for the moment, nilch, nada, nothing. The cool cafe is behind us here. 
quite a large place. It serves milkshakes and food and a place for people to chill out. And it's nice. It's actually in the shade, so it's very good. It's very nice, especially today. So next time, do are you going to bring your dollies with you? Are you bring your dollies for your pram. <laughs> it just looks like you brought, there's you no one the, in the it. I know he's there. Don't you say like a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's carry on. Now this, whatever it is, has been like this for years. It's just not been finished at all. One to think it's a super hotel. Uh, it's been passed from pillar to post, per post, pillar, 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 post, 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 pillar, and still nothing has happened. So what you have is this rather strange ghost construction that will never be finished. In fact, they ought to just demolish it and leave it open space. As I say, this is a new home of plastic, which is on the corner here. People might know it as BN3 that it used to be here on the corner. Uh, for many years it was BN3 and uh, and now plastic resides celebrating their 20th anniversary as well obviously not open until later on in the evening plenty of bars and restaurants down here including the Optimist it's always showing matches and games they're always open always Come rain, shine, or COVID. Uh, more restaurants and bars down the side here. Spa shop. And then more supermarkets. And then our destination is just literally on the horizon over there. This is Johnny's Bar. Doing burgers and casual food, etc. And that's a perfume shop. It's no longer open. But me and Ben had a race to go in there to get our last bottle of Nike perfume. Uh, it was just down to the to the corner in there. It's like, yes, they've got it. We wanted it. Was it Nike blue or something like that? I don't know, but there was another person yeah. that wanted it. So yeah, yeah, somebody it. else wanted it. But we managed to get the last bottle. <laughs> and here is our destination, what we call the Vines. But it's actually called uh, Vista El Puerto. And it's open. And it's open. So we're going in. A few moments later. So unfortunately, no dogs allowed in there. So our history of going there is no more. So unfortunately, we won't be uh, returning to our vines. What a big exhaust. And just to show you here on the corner, uh, this is a tavern. This is where we used to go as well on our holiday nights out. Uh, a bit of a shame really because it was such a great place this. But I don't think it's got any signs of it opening up again. Uh, oh, we used to sit here on the corner. Oh, it was lovely. And uh, in there was... Uh, the entertainment with just Jackie. Yeah, it is no more, unfortunately. And then just looking around the corner at Vince's grill. Yet again. That's uh, not open for the moment, but many happy times at uh, Vince's barbecue bar there as well. Yet again, we've uh, we did a bit of vlogging there in our vlogs from last year so if you want to catch up on those then be our guest and subscribe notify and uh, get those notifications oh my goodness so at the rosteris oh, thank goodness it's what all the way around to the other side of the, the bay and beyond to a place where we've been going for a long time since the kids were little but they don't let dogs on the terrace and to be honest the terrace was looking a little bit so I'm actually not bothered, but to be honest, no offence to um, that Maybe. side of the bay, but it's all looking a little bit tired. I don't think I'm really going to want to walk around there again. So yeah, unfortunately, we didn't really find anywhere that we 
felt I wanted to stop at up, up yonder end. So we've come back to the Osiris, which we love. Look at the view. Uh, it's amazing here, but it's so hot at the moment. We're a bit early than normal. The sun hasn't quite set or gone down as far as normal. So can you see, can you see the sweat? A little teaser's down here. I don't think he's ever got him in view. He's all right, he's got water on his head, he's had a big drink. And I brought him his fresh lamb for his tea. I think we're gonna actually order a panini to do paninis um, outside on the terrace at the Osteris. So we're gonna get a panini now, because it's starving. And then when it's cooled down, we'll have a little walk around into San Antonio and get some tapas. So how are you guys feeling after that jaunt around there? Is my that a waste back, of time or what? My back is absolutely dry. We're all boiling. I should have had much thinner neck after this. Holly's got a thing about her neck. Can please people comment that Holly has nothing wrong with her neck? She thinks it's like wider than everybody else. Says Holly, your neck holds your head on. As long as it's doing its job, I wouldn't complain. But you feel a lot thinner after that. That's so, how I feel. Guys, look at your knees. Oh because yeah. Obviously, the sun's the sun. shining on oh, their oh, knees. You can't see right now, but when I've you go into the other, knees, I didn't bring so. any sun cream. When thinking, you go into the other light, I looked. I went to the toilet um, just to clean your yeah, glasses. Um, <laughs> um, and I looked at, and in the other light and you can see my arms, they're red, 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 red. Red uh, and mozzy bites. I've got 14, update, 14 bites. I've got Seven a couple, I had a couple of new ones on my back of my elbow yesterday, on the back yeah, of my yeah, arm. But they tend to go quite fast when on your arm, they just shrivel up into little pimples in his face. When it's on your bottom of your legs, like, around here, that they really Yeah, hurt. I've got the definition of Burger King's whopper on my leg. <laughs> On special offer. Seriously, we're we gonna have a look. So we're gonna prevent the burnt knees and we're gonna enjoy a beverage. We've got water. Burnt knees to paninis. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm driving, so I'm just having the one rose. It's got to be from here because it's just so lovely. The view from here and like when it's sunsets, it's just beautiful. I just want to go and jump in that pool. <laughs> So we've moved seats because we're absolutely roasting. The sun's like coming right down us, sat over there. So we're sat here now, <laughs> and we've all devised a way to keep cool, haven't we, Dad? And Ben. And Ben. I highly recommend the paninis. They're very good. It's so hot. <laughs> Don't I? <laughs> Hola. So talking loudly of the music in the background, uh, we're at Rio's Bar in San Antonio, and uh, not the bay, but in San Antonio now. And usually we come here for cocktails, but uh, Kirsty's driving, so we decided, well, I'm gonna have a ginger beer. Uh, Kirsty's gone for a cola, water for Holly, uh, Ben for a Fanta orange, but we've ordered food, and this is what we got.